this Friday, March the 1st, and uh, we've really got a very special program today, something that I think you're going to be excited about. I know I am when I heard about it. It's called People to People Ambassadors, and I want to introduce you, first of all, to Mel Mercer. Actually, they, the students call you Mr. Mel, Mr. right? Mel. Mr. Yeah. Mel. And we've got four special students with us today that we're going to meet in just a minute, but tell me, what, what is People to People Ambassadors? People to People Student Ambassadors is a group started by uh, President Eisenhower shortly after World War II. Mm -hmm. And uh, he thought that it'd be important that if um, more students, uh, student age, would get to know the other cultures and other countries that maybe the wars could be avoided. So he started the organization of student ambassadors in hopes that they could build some bridges of peace. What a wonderful idea that. I mean, that is, when you think about it, it makes so much sense mm -hmm. because our future is in the hands of these 13 and 14 year olds that we have here today. Yes, they are. How many people to people ambassadors are there around the country? I'm told every summer up to 100,000 students from fifth grade through senior and high school will be traveling. A hundred thousand students. Seven continents and every state in the Union is represented by an elementary group, a junior high group, and a high school group. Okay, so how, how does the program work? How are the students chosen or do they choose that they want to do it? Can be both. Um, uh, a teacher who knows the organization, like myself or other teachers or people who's traveled as a child as a student uh, can turn a student and call nominating them mm -hmm. and then they will get a letter in the mail to attend the meeting and they show up at the meeting they get to meet a local meter uh, leader and find out who uh, you know if they're wanting to go so this is available to all the entire school absolutely system in in central Missouri around the whole oh, state. In the whole country yeah the whole country yeah. yeah who pays for this they do the students have to pay the for it. The students pay for it, but the, the majority of them, for it. The, well, okay, they can raise money. They can have a fundraiser or the parents can pay for it or, or whatever. But usually my situation is the students will raise their own their yeah. own money to How travel. How many years have you done this? This will be my fifth season traveling. And you take different students each year? I take my students and I will be grouped with another delegation or more delegates from other states and we'll travel the same adventure. That's a, this is absolutely, it, it really is beautiful. Mm -hmm. you're, you're going where? This summer we're going to Europe. It's called the European Heritage. So uh, one direction, we could fly into London. We'll go in to Normandy Beach, into France, go through France up into Belgium and the Netherlands. We'll have a homestay in Germany, uh -huh. and then go on into Austria. And then after that 20-day adventure, we're coming home. Okay, I, I wanna I wanna chat. You brought four students four. with you today, but how many? You have seven. I have seven in my group. Okay. Yeah. But there will be thousands going from around the around the. They country. usually break us into delegates between forty and fifty, so I'll okay. be with other leaders. And, okay. Yeah. All right. Let me let me. And Mr. Mel, and that's what they call you, loving that's you, what Mr. They call Mel. Me, yeah. Let's let's meet the students. First of all, you are Brianna Evans, and you're from what school? Higby, Missouri. Are you excited about going to Europe? Yes. Why did you decide that you wanted to be a part of People to People? I thought it would be an amazing experience to <laughs> visit Europe and see all the new different cultures. And yeah. And representing our country. Yes. And representing your generation. Because as I said earlier, it really is true. You students right now are our future. I, I, and I, I'm, I'm so glad that you're doing this, and I hope you have a fantastic time. I want to meet the next one. You are? I'm Madison Ratcliffe. And what school? California, Missouri. Why did you decide you wanted to be part I of this? I decided I wanted to be part of this because I wanted to help make world peace. Yeah. You're having to raise all of your own money to go. Are mm -hmm. you having any fundraisers yourself? Yes, I'm having a chili supper is one Okay, idea. cooking the chili yourself? You're doing all the cooking yourself. Well, my grandma, too. <laughs> okay. Give grandma some credit there. And then we have... Caitlin Bland. And what school, Caitlin? Vienna, Missouri. And what are you doing to raise money to go? I am doing fundraisers. And most of them are just like... Trying to raise money, asking yeah. people. Okay. But why did you decide that you wanted to be a part of this? I decided I wanted to be a part of this because it's a really great opportunity what are you most excited about? Um, probably 
getting to have a host in Germany. Yeah, and meeting the people yeah. and sharing what it's like living in the United States and seeing what it's like to live in Germany. Okay, and last but not least, the, the last guy that we have, or the, the only guy that we have today, you are? Kieran Peterson. And what school? Keenan Christian Academy. In Fulton. Yep. And you're also doing fundraising to, to raise money to go? Yep. Okay, why, why are you excited about going? What's the, what's the thing that you're looking forward to most? Learning about different cultures and, yeah, representing yeah. America. So you're going to England, you're going to... France, and Austria, where else? Austria, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany. Okay, all right, well they're gonna be world travelers. I hope you all have a fantastic time while you're there and in your wonderful representatives of our country, just looking at your faces. If, if people listening would like to help out, Dr. Mel, what can they do? They can uh, email me. Okay, what's your email address? That's melptp13 at embarkmail.com. Oh, okay. Mel M E L <laughs> Mel P T P T P people to people. People, people to people. people. Yeah. At 13, that's the year. Okay. At embarkmail.com. Oh, that's pretty simple then. Yeah. Mel P T P 13 at for the year for at embark.com. Yeah. And you will uh, you will give them all the information all the information they want to know about people to people. And if people would if if they would like to help out financially, well, you're not going to say no there, are you? No, I'm going to say no, but I I'm also open the door to students age 5th grade through high school that if they would like to get involved maybe next year. It, it's too late for 2013. It's a little too late to get in right now cuz we're going to be traveling in July this year. So it's going to be kind of hard to raise the money now that we're in February and try to okay. make this trip, but they can go ahead and and get to the website people to people.com. Do a little research and find out some of the places that we go. Learn about what we do as okay. student ambassadors. Okay. That sounds wonderful. And I'll tell you what, I'd like to have, you're going July, in the end of July. We're going to beginning of July and coming back end of July. Oh, you're going the beginning, beginning of July. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right after good. 4th of July, they're going to kick us out. So you're going to, uh, and you're going to be there for almost a month. 20 days. All right. Well, Safe traveling to you. Thank we'll, you sir. we'll see you before you go, though. Yes, okay? Sir. Be great. All right. Uh, give them that email address one more time. Mel, PTP13 at embarkmail.com. Got it. All right. We're out of time for today. Uh, Monday, Columbia Second Chance or Second Chance will be on with us, and Salvation Army Concert. We'll tell you all about that. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Charles Minchu, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. We'll look for you Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.